Fran, John, as you said, all those weapons found under one roof. As you can see outside the house, no trespassing sign posted by Arnibald on the fence. Security cameras actually stationed outside of the windows on the house. You can understand details very limited at this point in time, but we do know that a house is on fire here in Carolina Beach. You can see the scene right now. Crews from the Carolina Beach Fire Department, Carolina Beach Police Department on scene. The smoke has definitely thickened just since we arrived here moments ago. We don't know what the status is on the fire. No crews are coming over here to the caution tape at the edge of the scene to give us any details at this moment, which makes us believe that they are still actively working to put this thing completely out. What we do know is what witnesses have told us here on the scene. Neighbors say that this house near the intersection of Georgia Avenue and Canal Drive did catch fire. It is a house under construction and they were working to make sure the flames did not spread to any other houses. Right now, we don't know the status of the actual fighting going on with this fire. We don't know if anybody has been injured, but we have seen EMS crews down here. Right now, they have the street blocked off. That's Canal Drive, so we are a good 50 to 100 feet behind all the action right now, but you can see it going on. A very active scene, very thick smoke as it billows off into this Carolina Beach summer night. We'll continue to keep you updated as we learn more details throughout the show. John, Fran. Ashley, let's break it down like a timeline. Right now, the boat is partially out of the water, but they've been working on this all day. If we can take some of that daytime video, you can see that a diver has been down there in the water attaching hooks from a crane to the bottom of the boat and slowly but surely working with the tides to pull that boat up and out of the water. Now they've had to stop because of the rough currents in the water and periodically take their time and go back under and work just gradually to try and get this big vessel above water. We spoke with the owner of the boat earlier today. Here's what he had to say. If it's uh, to be, then uh, we'll come back uh, a little stronger maybe. But uh, it's, it's all in God's time, so it's all good. As you can see there, in good spirits and flash forward, the boat just about out of the water. You can see the top half of it there, crews actively working, pumping water out of the boat, trying to get it lighter so they can pull the whole thing out of the water. We'll keep you posted. This century plan is about 32 feet tall, but we thought we'd put that measurement to the test using me as a measuring stick, and I'm about six foot six. So it takes one, two, three, four, that's four Alex Gileses to the top of the century plant. Well, John Fran, as you can imagine, Zier Kennedy wasn't in a good mood. That didn't stop him from pleading his case to us, the case that he's an innocent man. And she telling me to wash my mouth, what you mean? Um, how you supposed to feel if you was in here for the rest of your life for murder that you didn't do? You want to keep talking? Man, I don't care, man. An innocent man or a convincing liar? Either way, a frustrated Zier Kennedy sits behind bars tonight. It's crazy, man. I'm just, I'm just really shocked because I got a whole son on the way, and my son gonna be born in August, and I'm probably not going to be there to see him be born, man. A soon-to-be father claiming his innocence. Everybody can tell you I was in the house. I don't know when it occurred or nothing, but I was in the house the whole time, all day. I have an alibi. An alibi that says he was home in Houston Moore one neighborhood over from the murder. Kennedy was picked up at this intersection yesterday afternoon by U.S. Marshals. He tells me he had nothing to do with this incident, but at the same time, he's not denying his criminal past. Everybody committed a crime before. That's a dumb question. I'm sorry, man. I feel you, but man, come on, man. You done smoked weed or something before in your life? Nope. This reporter has a clean rap sheet. Kennedy's the one who's already done jail time. And I robbed somebody with a BB gun. I didn't even want to do it. You know what I'm saying? It was just something to do. I was bored. You know what I'm saying? I was young and stupid. I did my time and I learned. I got a child on the way. I can't keep doing stupid A fire alarm brings the interview to a halt. Soon after, his attorney arrives. I got to go see my lawyer. You want, uh, I mean, I'll come back if they let me. All right. He did not return for the interview after speaking with his attorney. Kennedy made his first appearance before a judge this afternoon. He currently sits in jail on $2 million bond. Stuck in the sand and going nowhere fast. Visitors to Carolina Beach's Freeman Park are having a tough day in the sand. 
just prove the law of physics. If your four-wheel drive won't engage in four-wheel drive, you will not get off the north end. Ah, but he will, all thanks to Brutus. <laughs> Nine feet tall, nearly eight feet wide, and over 13,000 pounds of sand grinding metal. I'm gonna pull you out. Brutus the super tow truck leaves no beachgoer left behind. We've had more calls than we can count right now. Just give them a ring and they spring into action. Thomas Toby and his towing team have taken hundreds of tow calls this weekend. It varies back and forth between super frustrating to I've got the coolest job in the world. A lot of people think my car's all-wheel drive. I can go anywhere that these big trucks that are four-wheel drive can, and they can't. Probably look for another area to park at. This is uh, too risky for us to even try. In a sea of vehicles, Toby and his team have been reeling in bites all day. Catch of the weekend, a monster truck with a broken part. Yeah, the monster truck with the 60-inch tractor tires was, uh, was probably one of the coolest things that we've towed ever. It's real easy to get stuck out here in the thick sand, but Thomas's towing doesn't just pull people for a quick buck. They also do it for safety concerns. Our prices are approved by the by the police department, and we're here at, that, at their request to make sure that traffic stays moving and uh, so that everybody can get on and off the beach. And it can be sometimes 50, 60, or 100 cars easily on a holiday weekend trying to get out if someone gets in front of them and gets stuck. Luckily for them, Brutus will be nearby, eagerly awaiting the next tow. I'm an eight-year-old that never outgrew my Tonka toys. They may be playing in the sand, but these toys have one serious job. There's a special angel hovering above Brenda's cafe in Castle Hayne nowadays. One of Brenda Nattel's best friends had to help his buddy before he passed on. He said, God left me here for a reason and you're the reason. If Brenda's the reason, her cafe is the result. And I was like, come on man, don't mess around with me like that, I'm serious. And he said, no, I'm serious. And he said, where's the building? But the building was just the beginning. He paid for most of it. Um, everything I said I couldn't get, he made sure I had. But what Ernie didn't have to give was time. He was dying of lung disease, but he couldn't leave just yet. I made him fight, though. I'd tell him, you're not leaving me. You're not. You're going to watch me do this. You know, you gave me my dream. You're going to watch me open the doors. And Ernie did watch the doors open just weeks before he passed away. Now Brenda serves his favorite dish as a constant reminder of his final blessing. That's something I just added to the menu, but he didn't get to get it because he's gone. But every Friday I have prime rib now because of Ernie. Ernie's picture is up for all to see. Oh, he was awesome. Ernie was the best. As he watches some of his favorite people prepare his favorite dish. You could sit there and talk to Ernie for days. He was amazing. He was. I miss him. I do. And I thank him very much every day for what he did and I won't let it fail. I will succeed in this because of him.